hello learners welcome back to my video today we are going to learn how to find a proper database for our bibliometric analysis using a boolean now question comes why boolean search matters so as we know scopus is one of the largest database which has millions of records so keyword can give a result but maybe many things would come in front of you maybe useful things as well as with the useful things irrelevant papers will also be searched by your keyword use of that keyword so boolean search is used to refine our uh, papers topic and it tries to refine and optimize our findings so now question comes what are the three types of operators so yes the first type of operator is and and operator includes both like for example i am having a topic of impact of macroeconomic variable on stock index so my both the keywords the first keyword is macro economic variables and my second topic is stock index when both of them would be there it will find it so you can see the database is searching accordingly and it has given me 97 result where both the words would be there okay um, moving towards the second thing or second boolean operator that is or which broadens my category any one of them would be there then also it would add it like here in case of and i just press or and when i just refine my search you can see the document numbers are enhanced to many fold times wherever the word macroeconomic variable would be there it is considered and wherever the word stock index would be there it is also considered moving towards the third important boolean that is not suppose if i want macroeconomic variables and i don't want stock index so i will write here macroeconomic variable not stock index you can see here the documents have reduced to certain numbers now let's uh, go to the second boolean that is or boolean because it was having many full times the papers it was having 12349 documents now here i can select the range or year also like basically it starts from 1957 to 2025 but i want to do a recent study like i i just need to enhance from 2005 to 2025 so when i just click here you see the papers are reduced to 10000 and you you just want to see the search yes it it would definitely impact our keyword uh, query moving towards the second thing i just want a uh, certain author's paper maybe uh, this authors have contributed so when i just click on it i have two option whether to exclude it or whether to limit to so when i just click limit to it will only show the 53 papers you can see here 53 documents are there but i want everyone so i am just enhancing it yes here i can have a journal like which of the journals should be considered so i want the papers to be taken from economics econometrics finance management journal maybe i want from multidisciplinary journal other than that i don't want it so i am just trying to limit to this many journals 
so you can see my searches are refined and my papers are reduced to certain number same way i only want articles i don't want review paper i don't want book chapter i don't want any conference so i just try to refine it i just click on limit to so again the number of papers are reduced to certain numbers same way uh, i can work on uh, keywords also i want only stock market uh, even i want macroeconomic variable monetary policy so this way i can act maybe limit to certain numbers of paper but i want now everything so now i am just clicking on it moving towards affiliation which university i want the paper like i want only papers from university of delhi so just when i click it you can see the refinement is done as per the command only 37 papers would be there but again the time frame would not be matching so this limit to okay so even i can just click on clear all so it would give me again clear all and 12000 documents again i can also click on advanced query and now this is one of the important thing that we need to learn whenever we run any query whenever we go on a filter type of things like for example if i have just made it range bound from year 2015 to 2025 <coughs> see here it has added a query as per the requirement same way i want from the journals economics business management and multidisciplinary Again, you can see here, it, it has added here our Boolean query. Even I just want article. Even I can filter it by keywords or university. Even I can filter only a funded project from specific bodies. Even I require country like I want only paper from India. So you can see here I can refine my search as per the requirement and by this refinement I get one number of papers and from that I can export a CSV where I need to just click on document from 1 to 517 and i always say that try to export everything whenever you just work on a database try to export everything because whenever you take this data into specific pro, uh, uh, like program maybe r studio bibliometrics package or maybe uh, any other uh, referencing uh, material citation software you need to take all the things so more the data you have more power to enhance your study so this would export my csv and once it's done you can see the scopus file is ready with all the data and that can directly be fetched to our bibliometrics package even you can change it as per requirement so you can see here all details of the papers that I have refined it on the basis of my boolean that has been there. Even I can copy this boolean, this I can copy this boolean and I always recommend when you write a paper 
we try to have this boolean because whenever bibliometric study would be taken care and this type of boolean gives an enhancement to your study more important you can also uh, save your search refined searches can also be saved uh, export filter counts once you do click on it your refined values would be exported like what are the refinement you have done would be in a excel file you can see here everything would be taken care by a scopus database one more important thing i need to discuss with you in this video is about a trump card wild card like sometimes no this asterisk makes important thing like if i want to have education or word related to education i will just write inverted comma educate and then after that i will add this asterisk so related words in any form would be fetched same thing applies here the question mark like i want both men and women so i just write here question mark within that asterisk it would fetch the keywords or you can say papers which has this both word even uh, yes quotation is always used to uh, fetch specific query and yes there is one more thing proximity operators like wn which finds within of certain things but these are very rarely used the three important booleans are and or and not i hope i have shown you in using our scopus database for any query you can write a comment below my video i would definitely reply thank you